what are we? We're driving up the side of a mountain in a Rolls Royce, which is really weird. Far from genteel English estates, Parisian boulevards, and glitzy seaside resorts, Rolls Royce wants to take you somewhere it hasn't been since the First World War. Wild country. I just drove up the side of a mountain in the Rolls Royce of SUVs. No, literally, the Rolls Royce Cullinan, a vehicle that has Rolls Royce saying words they're not used to, like versatile, practical, and off-road. As with all Rolls Royces, the four-wheel drive Cullinan never lacks confidence or power, even driving up a steep mountain trail. Braking is responsive, steering decisive. I may not be climbing the face of El Capitan, but for our roles, this is death defying. And if this doesn't look scary, keep in mind, we're off-roading in something that starts at $325,000. The Cullinan was amazing going up the side of a mount, but that's not where most Rolls-Royce customers will be driving this vehicle. The challenge for Rolls-Royce is, do they make a vehicle that's capable of doing that, but on the road, still has that famous magic carpet ride. For something one might get dirty, the Cullinan is certainly the most Rolls-Royce-like SUV I've ever been in. On the road, the Cullinan is quiet, composed, controlled with lots and lots of power. But if I compare the ride quality in this to a Ghost or a Phantom from Rolls-Royce, that's a very high bar. But the Cullinan just doesn't quite make it. What the Cullinan lacks most notably is the supreme isolation one usually gets inside a Rolls Royce. It's really what makes a Rolls Royce magical. That feeling of being sealed off from the world in a cocoon of costly luxury and ultimate refinement. By ordinary standards, the Cullinan is amazingly cozy. But by Rolls Royce standards, it feels just a touch, well, commonplace. That is a shame. Even so, I still predict that the Cullinan, with all its newfound practicality and flexibility, will take the spirit of ecstasy to places she hasn't been in a very long time.